With the America's Cup underway, hundreds of spectator boats are hitting the water, including a few super yachts, just like the one behind me, Seabreeze 3. Now it's not only spent almost the past two years being renovated for the event, it's actually owned by a former Team New Zealand grinder. And today we've been lucky enough to be invited on board. Simon, first of all, thank you so much for having us here on board. What a privilege to watch day one and also just with someone like yourself, a former member of Team New Zealand, what did you take from the first two? Well, you know, Team New Zealand's clearly got some boat speed. Um, you know, we came from behind in the second race, but um, well, we're looking pretty good, I think. Well, we are one apiece so far in the Amer America's Cup. Do you see Emirates Team New Zealand coming back and really dominating the next few, or where do you think things well, are going to go? Well, I think for the racing, it would be really good if it was kind of, you know, a little bit balanced and we had a bit of excitement. I think we'll do, I think we'll win. I think we'll do well. I hope so too. Now, now the boats have evolved, obviously, an incredible amount since you were part of the team and same with the grinding as well. Can you tell me a bit more about that? How, how much has that particular role evolved specifically? Well, I mean, if uh, in 1987, if Grant Dalton had said to me, uh, in 2021, we're going to have these boats that do 50 knots, the guys are going to wear crash helmets and have scuba gear, I would have gone, mate, what are you smoking? Um, but I reckon these boats are absolutely amazing. They fly on one wing. I mean, it's like, how crazy is that? So. It's very exciting, it's way different from my day. We did like, you know, eight knots and the races took like two hours and now they take 30 minutes and these guys are going three times faster than the wind. It's pretty, pretty amazing, right? You're a grinder turned super yacht owner. How did that come about? Uh, yeah, not really sure how that happened actually, but um, love, always love boats. And um, yeah, my partner and I decided that we um, just kind of fell in love with this boat and just wanted to rejuvenate her and turn her back into what she was. Yeah. Well, Charlotte, thank you so much for having us on board today for the first day of the America's Cup. Can you first of all tell me a little bit about this boat? Because I know it's got quite a bit of history behind it. Well, um, yes, it has a lot of history. Um, she's a beautiful 1976 wooden old girl that we have actually just done a huge renovation or um, I guess more than a refit, it's been a rejuvenation for the last two years. She sort of came about when Simon and I decided that we'd like to have an adventure finding a boat. A little boat. <laughs> you call this a little boat? <laughs> yeah, I know. So yes, so and then yeah, and suddenly before you knew it, we discovered this beautiful girl and we fell in love with her. <laughs> when it came to that big renovation job, what are some of the things, the major changes, and I know you've kept a lot of it original as well, you tried to kind of keep that character with it too? We refurbished using the original, um, all the furniture, and so it was all about, um, you know, using what we have and just keeping some of the old quirks as well, rather than being new and slick. The, the journey, I think we were probably quite naive. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. And what we thought was going to be a sort of a six month refit turned into nearly two years. So uh, there's been highs and lows, but it's incredible seeing this um, amazing team of people including our friends and family helping just to bring this mission to fruition. Hopefully the first one worked well. Is this a surprise?